the 12 plus years I've been on radio, and even looking back at mass shootings before that, there has never been a mass shooting of the suicide uh, shooter type where they always kill a bunch of people and then expose themselves, dispose of themselves by blowing their own heads off. Sometimes you have mass shootings where it's gangland and five gang members get shot and killed. Uh, but but every case of not just shootings of a woman uh, in Fort Worth cutting her baby's arms off or a woman drowning her five children or a teenager coming in and killing his grandparents and then going out and shooting a bunch of his neighbors and schoolmates, there has never been a case, and we look at every one of them, not the Virginia Tech Blacksburg situation, not Kip Kinkle, not Harrison, Kleinbold, and Columbine. Uh, there has, every time I see a police report, there was one a few years ago in Texas, a naked woman at a million dollar house dancing around naked, stabbing herself with butcher knives, throwing them at police when they showed up. I said, well, it'll come out, she's on antidepressants. And of course, it came out a day later, she indeed was. I mean, it, it just, it is continual. It always is the same. And uh, yesterday, within hours of the horrible mall shooting in Omaha, Nebraska, it was on the news that he had been treated psychiatrically, been on Ritalin and serotonin reuptake inhibitors, so both the amphetamines and the hallucinogens. It's in the hallucinogenic psychotropic class. That's what class psychotropics are in. Just look, read the insert. Uh, and... Sure enough, they were reporting that his friends, families, neighbors said, oh, yeah, he'd all been on the drugs. Uh, it is appearing that he dropped out of his, quote, counseling lately, and, and it, it appears may have gone off the drugs. That's even worse. If you're going to go off, you've got to go off very slowly and ramp it down very, very slowly under a doctor's care. And, of course, people break and kill and hurt themselves when they're on them as well. Hundreds of percentile points go up. They're, they even have to admit that now in the drug inserts, uh, in the fine print, with all of these serotonin reuptake inhibitors and similar classes, because they totally jack with the chemical balance of your brain. They give you a chemical imbalance. You're now in uh, Toucan Sam land, even if you don't know it. So we'll be uh, breaking that down. Uh, but it is confirmed that he was on them, may have just gone off of them the last few weeks, and, uh, yeah... Here comes Johnny. Uh, serious situation unfolded. Always the same M.O. And, of course, there's calls now for restricting the Second Amendment, so we can't defend ourselves. Too bad there wasn't someone with a concealed carry who could have taken this guy out uh, quicker. Uh, but you can bet that if there was somebody with a concealed carry who shot him down, or a lot of times these guys see somebody coming with a gun, they'll go ahead and kill themselves instead of killing another 9, 10, 15 people. Uh, and if that is the case, you'll hear about it in a month, and it'll be kept very quiet. The police won't want that information out. Because so we've seen some similar cases where folks with concealed carries have actually neutralized uh, or uh, run the wolf off of their quarry. But, but this guy was just completely out of his gourd. And it is confirmed he was on the drugs. They're saying he was on the drugs, but I'm seeing some evidence that he may have gone off treatment in the last two weeks. Again, uh, you go off these things suddenly, uh-oh, uh-oh. I mean, you can have complete psychotic breaks. And uh, the way it's described by these people and in the uh, different uh, studies that have been done by the drug makers themselves, they knew this in the early 80s and suppressed it with the big granity of Maul Prozac, that it's just a hunger to slaughter and kill absolute psychotic spasm of hatred uh, delighting in bloodthirst and um, so there's 20% uh, of the public now on these it was 15% and they're uh, all ticking time bombs just waiting to go completely psychopathic we'll be right back every time a woman drowns their children in a bathtub or puts them in a car and drives them off a cliff into a quarry or into a river. been a couple cases of that in the last year. Uh, the woman just flips out, sick of the kids whining and whatever, or, or she's got some new boyfriend that she wants to leave the kids for, but no one will take the kids. She doesn't know she can give them to Grandma, so she just drives them off a, th off a cliff. Uh, that seems to be one of their favorite things to do. 
uh, every time they walk into school and blast a bunch of people. The last case, a couple years ago in Minnesota, remember that kid shooting a bunch of people on the Indian Reservation public school? Uh, he was a Prozac up. He was on one of those uh, serotonin rib digging embers. Same thing with this uh, guy. And we'll explain exactly why that happens when we get back. Because I've interviewed scores of top medical doctors on this subject. Stay with us. Uh, because you don't need to have the CIA do this when you're on the serotonin reuptake inhibitors. But it'd be one thing if it was even 90% or 95%. But every case of mass shooting, every time, I mean, I keep waiting for it not to be. I keep waiting for the new mass shooting to not be. I mean, go look at it for yourself. We ought to do an article about that. Uh, not just about this latest guy being on Prozac. I know Steve's doing one. Or they won't see what type of serotonin reuptake inhibitor. It's a whole family, but it's like it's just like there's 15 brands of Coca-Cola flavored soft drinks: RC Cola, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. Uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of brands. It's the same thing. It tastes the same. It does the same thing. There's different combinations and strengths. So we don't know which type of serotonin reuptake inhibitor, but they admit he was on him. And Ritalin, by the way. Uh, Harris was on both. Clybulb was only on antidepressants. The mixture is particularly uh, volatile, uh, and uh, the psychologists, the psychiatrists, don't even d d debate whether there's drug mixing problems. They just, they just do it. You know, give somebody a high-powered amphetamine. That's what it is, and then go ahead and mix it up with a an hallucinogen. And the psychotropics are in the hallucinogenic family. Go look it up in the encyclopedia. Go look it up in the different medical dictionaries that are online, mainstream. They are in the hallucinogenic family. But they only put you into kind of a dazed, uh, subconscious sleepwalking state. They, in fact, they put large areas of your brain, but not the entire brain, uh, when you're hopped up on these things, uh, into a kind of REM sleep, sleepwalking state. People can drive cars while they're sleepwalking. They can... They can uh, you know, do all sorts of things. They can walk down the street and get hit by a bus. Well, it puts you into a brainwave state very similar to that. And then sometimes you have a bad trip. Sometimes you just have absolutely horrible feelings of uh, intense suicide. Uh, or just as often, and this is now in the inserts, they've had to add this the last few years. We knew this back in the 80s. Their own internal trials of Prozac, which they suppressed, this is all mainstream news, showed massive increases in suicide and violent uh, acting out. And it, 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 in some cases it causes hardcore, violent, psychotic br breaks, just where they aren't just psychopathic and don't have any empathy for killing people and no conscience. They, they lust after it. They want to kill. Uh, they have intense, I mean, it just turns them into absolute killers. And that's how you get a woman to take her baby and take a butcher knife and chop its arms off. That's how you get a mother to drown her five children in an assembly line. Uh, she was on, well, that lady was on four different ones. Uh, and as they get more and more whacked out, it's a perfect product. They tell you, oh, the answer is more. Now, remember, WOII Television did an investigation last year, or now it's two years ago, and found that uh, we already knew this, but they, they found it, so we can say they reported it, that in Texas more than two-thirds of foster children are on an average, but two-thirds are on the drugs, but an average is on seven. And they found some were on as many as 18 drugs. And after they get you on five, ten, depends on the person, things are having seizures, then the seizure money comes in, and then you get to get even bigger money, the social services, on hospitalization. Oh, they actually hospitalize you with the drugs, and then you, a lot of them die. But there's just massive money in that. They also get insurance policies on the children they murder. Oh, big cash there. <laughs> and the big private facilities really cash in. So we'll continue to discuss this when we get back, and, and exactly why you have psychotic breaks.